The FIA is considering action on potential flexing rear wings after McLaren's mini DRS sparked controversy at the Azerbaijan GP. Footage showed McLaren's rear wing flexing at high speeds, reducing drag and increasing top speed, earning it the mini DRS nickname. Rival teams called for clarification, and now, ahead of the Singapore GP, the FIA is reviewing evidence from Baku to determine if any rule changes or actions are needed. Now, whilst the FIA has stated this so far following the uproar from some rival teams, the FIA is closely monitoring the flexibility of bodywork on all cars and reserves the right to request teams to make modifications at any point during the season. However, if a team successfully passes all deflection tests and adheres to the regulations and technical directives, they are deemed to be in full compliance and no further action will be taken. The FIA is currently reviewing data and any additional evidence that has emerged from the Baku GP and is considering any mitigating measures for future implementation. So McLaren has passed this mandatory test, so all should be well, shouldn't it? Well, no is the answer. But why? The debate centres on whether McLaren's wing design, which flexes at high speed, violates FIA guidelines on acceptable flexibility. FIA's Technical Directive, TD34, states that even if a wing passes static tests in the pits, certain flexing behaviours on track won't be tolerated. In the note, the FIA says that it does not consider legal designs whose structural characteristics are altered by secondary parameters, so as to produce, whilst running at the track, a different deflection characteristic than when stationary during the FIA checks. Examples of secondary parameters could be temperature and aerodynamic load. Naturally, one team boss who hasn't been named, but we can assume who, has already had this to say. We rely on the FIA to say, OK, what are the boundaries of that? Of course, everything will flex to a certain degree, but what is acceptable and what is not? We're starting to see extremities be exploited again, and I think it's down to the FIA to decide. Is that OK, in which case everybody will pile in, or as per the regulation, the way it's written, does that comply? There is a large scatter of who's doing what now, obviously with a lot of interest in the McLaren rear wing after Baku, and there is performance in it. Of course there is. That is why everyone is chasing it. But it's just knowing what is reasonable and what's taking the piss. Well, change your car. You've got a problem. Change your car. Back at your Christian. McLaren's rear wing was covered up as the car was being assembled in the Singapore pit lane on Thursday, but this is understood to be related to a new livery launch taking place later in the day. So do you think the FIA will be pressured into making McLaren change up the rear wing before Singapore, or do you think McLaren have got the all clear? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. But that's the video today, guys. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video, and until the next time, bye-bye.